Hey guys, so today I wanted to share with you something that is very personal to me and something that I have never really discussed with anyone. Today I wanted to share with you my story of anorexia. Throughout my whole life, I have always been very conscious about my weight. I never wanted to be over 100 pounds. That was a big no-no for me. But my eating problems really started when I was a sophomore in high school. I made the varsity cheer team, and we were a very competitive team, but we were also a very small team. So during our first few practices, they were picking three girls that were going to be the main flyers throughout the year. And a flyer is the girl in the air doing all the stunts, for those of you who don't know. The way they were going about it was they were picking the three smallest girls and the last spot came down between me and one other girl. So they told us, okay, well we're going to try you guys out for a few weeks and just see who's a better fit for the team. I wanted to be a flyer so bad, like more than anything, that's what I wanted. So I got this crazy idea that, hey, maybe if I lose weight and become super, super small, they will pick me as a flyer. And I didn't really have a lot of weight to lose to begin with because I was already a pretty small person, but I decided to start dieting anyways. So I really, really started to cut back on food and my food intake for the day would look like a Starbucks drink for breakfast, one of the little frappuccinos that you buy, like the fridge kind that you get at the grocery store. And then I would have a bag of chips for lunch with maybe a cheese stick or a cookie to go with it. And at dinner, I would come home and eat whatever my mom would cook that night, which would normally be something like pork chops, meatloaf, a hamburger. Yes, I did lose weight. No, I did not end up being a flyer for that year based off of experience. But by that time, I had already fallen into this trap of wanting to be skinny and associating that with beauty. I kept up this diet for three years and I would restrict all week and once a week I would binge out on food on whatever I wanted like hot dogs. There was one time I ate almost an entire pizza all to myself. And I thought that was okay because I told myself, okay, I've done good, I've kept my calories low all week, so it's okay if I go out and binge out on junk food once a week. It's not going to hurt. And let me tell you, it freaking sucked because I would starve myself all week where all I could think about was food. And I really don't know how I kept up this diet for so long without ending up in the hospital. I really don't because there were several occasions when I would have blackouts. I would just be standing, doing my own thing, and all of a sudden I would just completely blackout. I mean, I was terrified of food, and the thought of it used to just make me cringe. And I remember if I went one day only eating a small amount of food, I would be so proud of myself like, yeah, good job, Laura. But if I went maybe one day eating what I considered to be too much food, I would beat myself up about it and restrict even more the next day. And by doing this, my weight would constantly fluctuate back and forth, but I would never let myself get over 100 pounds. That was terrifying to me. There was also a point where if I bent over, you could see my rib cage in the back and you could also see it in the front. And you know the worst part of this? I thought looking this way made me beautiful. I thought it was beautiful to look like that. I continued eating this way all the way until my first year of college. And that was really the first time I was on my own. And being a college kid surrounded by fast food, all the fast food you could ever want, I started to binge out. I started to gain weight very, very rapidly and it freaked me out. So I started to revert back to my old eating habits and that would look like a cup of coffee in the morning and one meal a day, which would normally be something like a taco and a soda from Taco Bell. So I moved back home and took a few months off college because there were some pretty tragic things that had happened in my family. And I was also planning on withdrawing to the, from that college and going to another college because I wanted to switch my degree. And I don't think I mentioned this, but Ever since I started doing this dieting thing in 10th grade, 
I felt so sick and I didn't even realize how sick I felt but I would have blackouts I always felt nauseous like always and I had zero energy I would constantly just take naps throughout the day and I knew that wasn't normal being at the time 20 years old taking like three naps throughout the day like I knew that wasn't normal but I did not have the energy to make it through an entire day and I think there might have been a few people that realized I had an eating disorder I had a few people be like hey you're so skinny are you anorexic and I'd be like no no I'm not and my mom even started to pick up on a few things. She'd be like, why are you not eating? And I'd be like, uh, I am, you just never see me. So my mom started cooking for me. She cooked three meals a day and I would eat, but I would use portion control. So one day I was sitting in my room and I came across a raw vegan channel, which is eating nothing but 100% plant-based raw fruits and vegetables. And I just remember being so intrigued by those videos because I kept thinking, wow, this is unlike anything I have ever heard of. And I really wanted to go vegan, but I didn't really understand how because my thought process was, I can't eat all those fruits and vegetables in a day. So about a year later, I was on YouTube again, just surfing around, and I came across Freely the Banana Girl. And for those of you who don't know, she is a high carb vegan who eats raw fruits and vegetables all the way until 4 o'clock or dinner time. And then she eats a warm vegan meal for dinner. My first thought was, okay, this girl probably has really good DNA because there is no way someone can be that skinny and eat that much food. Anyways, I followed her for a while and I just always remember being so inspired by her videos because of her passion and her energy about veganism. So I decided to kind of dabble into veganism a little bit and if you asked me a year ago about veganism, I mean I didn't know anything and if you told me that I would be trying to go vegan, I probably would have laughed in your face. So I would have a smoothie for breakfast in the morning but the rest of the day I would eat junk food. So I kept this up for a while and I just remember I woke up one morning and said, you know what, I'm done with this. I am so tired of feeling like crap, I'm going all in. And that was six months ago. Since going vegan, oh my gosh, never in my life have I felt so good. I have this crazy energy that I have never experienced in my life before, even when I was like 10 years old. And I'm not scared of food anymore. I'm not scared to eat three meals a day. I don't calorie restrict. I don't worry about getting fat. I, for the first time in my life, get to enjoy food and experience happiness. So that's my story and thank you guys so much for listening.